Having this small panel in your Revit library could be a great thing and it can really help you out uh, with uh, speeding up the process of creating your interior designs projects in Revit. Therefore, I decided to explain you how you can create this wall panel and how you can as well create a multiple design patterns with using this, the one element, the same element. So the first thing which I'm going to do in Revit will be to create a new family and in this case I'm going to pick this generic model wall based and now in a plain view, the first thing which I'm going to do is to uh, check the name of this reference plane. So it's back and I'm going to create one more reference plane. Let's name this as O1. And I will make a distance between those two to be, let's say, 25 millimeters. Then I will go to the placement side view and I'm going to create uh, the extrusion uh, where I'm going to assume that the first panel is going to start from one meter from the floor and the dimensions of the panel are going to be 600 by 600 millimeters. Just check the work plane. So in this case, it's going to be this back one. And now when I'm done with extrusion, I just need to take this blue arrow and to drag it to the reference plane 01 and to lock it. That's quite important to lock it. Again, you need to go to the placement side and to create one more extrusion, uh, which will be placed directly above this one, the first one I made. Trim this out. Check the reference plane, should be back, yes it is. And let's check where this one goes, so it goes to the other side, again uh, drag it to the reference plane 01 and lock it. And now I'm going to save this family. You could see the name of the family here and I'm going to create the new project file. In a project file I'm going to create a wall and now I'm going to load the family I'm working on into the project. So I'm going to place it here and let's just check this one, let's put none so I don't need shadows in this case. So this is, I'm using my, uh, my template and okay, now I turned off the shadows. So what we have to do next is to add those profiles here and to uh, make it to go uh, along this line. So you also see that we have this kind of the uh, oval part there. So I'm going to make it right now. And in a family, I will go to the right view. So I'm going to go to create. And in this case, I'm going to use a revolve tool. Before you start, just check the reference plane. So is this left, right? That's fine. And let's create the shape. So I know that this is five, uh, this is 600. So I'm going to make it 550. Then I'm going to align this line to the reference plane, I'm going to lock it and I'm going to make it to be 45 degrees, let's say 60 millimeters and trim it. Uh, also, I need to make the axis line so it goes from the middle here and then I'm going to make the end angle of 90 degrees. Let's just click fine. So here comes this. And what I can do is to join those two geometries. So let's just load this into the project to see how it behaves. So this seems fine. Now I'm going back to the family and I'm going to make this uh, to the upper part as well. So I'm going to go to create and I will use revolve again.
take the axis line from the middle 90 degrees and uh, let's join those two geometries also load this into the project okay so this seems fine this is okay and what i have to do right now and you see that we have some kind of the gaps between them so i'm going to create a gap right now in order to do that i'm going to use a void form void sweep and for a path i am going to set the work reference plane to be this 01 and i'm going to pick the lines and i'm going to lock them Uh, the thing which I would like to do is to create a profile from the plan view. So I will confirm the path and I'm going to, the, to create the profile and the way I will make it to be, let's say, 5 millimeters depth and then 1 millimeter to go here. So this is the slope which I would like to have. I will delete a path. I will delete uh, this small line then i will take the line from here and let's say to be 50 actually it could be 75 doesn't matter really then i'm going to trim this and here comes the first cut so i'm going to do the same for the upper one Okay, uh, let's load this back into the project. Yep, so we are with the modeling almost done. And uh, the very last thing about the modeling I have to do is to make those smoother edges. And you also see that we have some kind of the oval part in this area over here. So I'm going to create it. Uh, what I'm going to do, I will go to the right uh, side uh, <laughs> right view in a family and I'm going to select a revolve element we'll go to the edit revolve and what I'm going to make is to let's say this will start five millimeters from here for example then I will make it something like this 10 there mm -hmm. no actually five millimeters from here then i will take this arch tool we'll go here to the middle and we'll find the tangent there uh, then i'm going to take the radius of let's say 25 let's drag this one a little bit down and take the same radius here Then you can just make it this way and trim. And what I can also do is to make the radius at the top of, let's say, seven and a half. So, confirm this. Just check in a family. Okay, put the family to the shade it and you will see it better. Now I'm going to load this into the project. So this looks way, way better. And I'm going to do the same thing for the upper profile, actually to repeat it for the upper extrusion, upper revolve. <laughs> Okay, so in a family, this looks very good. Let's load this into the project. 
Now you will see how I'm going to add the parameter for material, how I will add the controller and how I'm also going to uh, create the parameters for the upper and the bottom profile. So in a family, what I'm going to do first is to select this whole element. We'll go to material and we'll click on this small box which says associate family parameter and we'll create a new one. Uh, we'll name it as a mat01. And this parameter I would like to be the instance parameter. I will select the bottom one and I will uh, add to this one the same parameter, so this mat01. And then I'm going to select the upper element. We'll go here to the visible and this small box. So we'll create a new uh, parameter, we'll name it as a A, will be instance as well, and the group will be visibility. We'll click OK, while the bottom one is going to be B. So we'll create a new one, instance again, name B, and the group under visibility. And you need to go to the reference, plane and then you need to go to create and add a controller so in this case we need this double horizontal so I will just place it here load this family override and now I'm going to copy let's say this one for 600 so uh, now I can just uh, click the space bar at the, at the keyboard and you see that how it flipped the horizontal direction I can move it back let's say 600 so I can let's say copy this one for 1.2 meters and then again let me extend this wall a little bit and I will make this to be shaded here so you see that we got the first uh, uh, the first uh, design the first creation and uh, let's say that I would like to select all of them and to give them the same material I can go here I can create a new one, we'll call this one as Arctisi Pesh and uh, let's just pick, I can pick this one and we'll put, to use render appearance. So here it comes. So this is the first design and let's say that we would like to create a few more different patterns. Uh, I will just uh, copy this here. Sorry, I will copy actually two of them. And I will select this one and will uncheck A and will uncheck A here as well. Let's copy this. Uh, let's extend the wall. Sorry. Uh, let's copy those two for 1.2 meters and again 1.2. And also I can now copy this 600. And what I need to do is to move this for 600 to the right. And I can just copy this one 1.2 to the left. And I will just select all of them and we'll just click A instead of B. And what you see here is something we have done in this design. And let's say that you would like to create something like this. Let me show you that as well. I can take this pattern for something like that. So here I'm just going to uncheck A to those two. Let me just see how this look like. Okay, and then we need to copy this for 600 and I will, mm -hmm, and this one as well. So now I'm going to move this here and then to copy it to the right for 1.2 meters. And I need to select this one to add A and then this one to add A. A as well and we need to copy opa, we need to copy this one for 600 
and I will just move this. And okay. I can copy it directly. Let's see. I will just move this. So select both of them at A. This was the way of creating this pattern and and you can try uh, exploring the possibilities and with your own pace you can create this one Excel for example. So basically that was it for this tutorial. I really hope that you are going to find this one very useful. If so, please just like this video, subscribe to our channel and feel free to share our videos with your colleagues. Thank you very much for watching.